Hello, welcome to this lesson of our study of you know, um, complex. I'm sorry, this study of us or this lesson of our study of you know integral equations. Okay, so um, this lesson is actually um, an idea that we'll be implementing in solving some of the integral equation questions. Okay, so um, I just wanted us to go through the idea of differentiation under the integral signs. Okay. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe to the support the channel. Okay, as you support, share it, comment, and like the video as well. Okay. All right. So let's start. So given an integral question like this, okay, that you have um this one, you have integral from a to b of f of x t dt, and let's say if I want to differentiate this function with respect to x, this whole integral with respect to x, then this is the formula it is being equal to f of x b okay you have to just find your f of x t then you find f of s b then multiply by db dx the minus okay this expression or this term f of x a okay times the a dx then plus the partial derivative of the function inside the integral sign then it integrates okay so these are just formulas you should know is it's something that um is being formulated there okay so you just have to know this formula and then we will start doing questions when you start simplifying questions using this idea you really understand so i hope you can remember this formula okay all right so let's pick an example and go through it now solve the equation d or solve the question d dx of the whole of this okay so in other words you are supposed to differentiate this okay or yeah differentiate this now solving this you realize that let's go back to here you have f of x b times b d s so what you have to find is first of all fish out our f of x t and we say f of s t is the order function inside this whole integral sign okay i hope you get this so uh f of x t let me use a different pen f of x t here will then be equal to 3 x t okay and this means that our lower limit a is equal to zero and our upper limit b is equal to x I hope you can see this so it means that f of x comma b is now b is now at x so you have to write f of x x and that would be equal to three let me write it for three x times wherever you see t put in x and that give us three x squared okay and the next thing that we need is db dx so b is equal to s so when you differentiate x with respect to s you get one okay then you go to f of x a okay and now the a is what is zero so you have that so if i see t you put in zero okay three x then times zero and this will give me zero then the a the x a is equal to zero so when you differentiate zero with respect to s you get zero so these are the terms we needed so now we said the differential equation or the sorry the differentiation of the integral equation is actually equal to when you have ddx let me quote it here a to b okay a to b of f of x t dt the solution of this is equal to f of x b okay db dx minus f of x a da dx plus partial derivative so a to b partial derivative of f of x t with respect to x okay so now you let's go back to the question this implies that d dx of zero to x of our question which is three x t dt would then be equal to now would f of x b which was giving us f of x x give us three s cubed 
if you remember that is what it gave us okay or three s squared rather sorry then multiplying one that is the bds is one and minus f of x a that gave us zero multiplying d a d x and that was also zero then plus integral from zero to x partial derivative of f of x t f of x t was s t was equal to three t right three x t okay so partial derivative of that three st with respect to x meaning i'm differentiating only this with respect to s so i have you let me write it here del del x of three x t dt okay so now let's simplify everything and go back to the next page and this means i will get something like three this means we'll get something like three s squared plus integral from zero to x now when i differentiate the three x t with respect to x only you get three t dt okay this is very very simple and i have to just integrate it okay so i have three s squared plus integral of three t dt i have three over two t squared from zero to x okay so i have three s squared plus three on two okay then t squared so when i put x here i'll get s squared minus zero and i'll have three s squared plus three over two s squared so i have s squared s squared so i have to add the three of the s squares plus the three over two of the s squared so i'll have something like nine over two s squared okay so that is a solution to our question which is equal d dx okay this is a question zero to x three st dt when you differentiate that this is what you get that is nine on two s squared oh this is cool now let's go to the next question ddx of that okay so with this one you have to fix out uh, f of x t and that is equal to s squared t you know that our a is equal to zero and our b is equal to x as well so f of x b which is b is what x so f of x s is wherever you see t you put in x okay and this will give me s cubed and now the b the x is just differentiating b with respect to s and you get one okay then f of x a a here is what zero so half x f of x zero and that will be equal to s squared into zero and this is equal to zero and the a the x is equal to zero and you realize that you have some del del x of f of x t let me let's do it together so that's in solving it will be very easier for us okay there are the x of f of st f of st is this when i differentiate that with respect to x i get 2x t i'm done so let's go back and quote our formula for the integration under the integral sorry differentiation under the integral sign and this is equal to how do you call it um the answer is equal to or let me let me quote it straight d d x of integral from a to b okay some a to b um a to b some b f of x t dt is now equal to you said f of x b db dx minus f of x a the a dx and plus integral from a to b del del something okay so del del x of f of x t dt so now let's go back to our question f of x b was given as this that is f of x s and that gave us s cube okay so i have s cubed times the bds and that was one minus f of x a and that was zero times the zero the, the a d x and that was also zero and plus integral a is zero 
B is X. Okay. B is X. Then that the X is of ST. And that was what? This one, 2XT. 2XT DT. So I have S cubed. Is it minus? Yes, so plus integral from zero to this is this is a straightforward integration. So I just integrate the whole of this with respect to um how do you call it t or, or you can you can bring the two x because we are doing everything with respect to t so it means that x will be constant okay so two x out then you have that dt you have just t left dt okay so i have s cubed plus two x when i integrate t with respect to t i'll get half t squared or t squared over 2 from 0 to x. Okay, so I have s cubed plus 2x. When I put in 0 to x inside, I'll get s squared over 2. I multiply through by 2x. I'll get s cubed plus... I'll get s cubed plus... I multiply 2x through this. What do you think I'll get? I'll get just s cubed as well, which is equal to 2s cubed. So it means that the differential of this function from 0 to x of s squared times t dt is equal to 2s cubed. Okay? So that is the solution to it. And that is what we mean by integration. Sorry, differentiation under integral sign. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe. And don't forget to share, like, and also comment as well, okay? See you next time.